Hey everyone, today I am going to show you how to use the average if function in Excel. And the average if function is really useful if you have a data range that you want to look at and if you're looking to find the average in that range based on a criteria. So uh, I have some dummy data here. We're going to go ahead and use the average if function to average the positive numbers and then find an average of the negative number. So what we're going to do, we're just going to go ahead and get started here. So first of all, we're just going to click in the E2 cell and we're going to just try and find what is the average of the positive numbers that we have in this range. We have like 160 different rows there. So we're going to go ahead and go look and, and see what data we have there. So we're going to just hit first equals average if. And it's going to give us the average if or the average ifs. And average if is if you have multiple criteria or average if is if you have one criteria. So we're going to go with average if, and we're going to hit tab. We'll kind of autofill it there. And then it's going to ask for the range. So what range of data do we want to look at in the to find those averages? So we're going to go ahead and look at the values. So I'm going to click and hit control shift down arrow. And that is going to give us our entire uh, range. Then I'm just going to hit comma. You can afford that if you want to lock it, but we're just going to leave it as is for now. And then the criteria range is, you know, what are, what are we looking for to average within this data range? So for us, if we're looking for the positive numbers, what we want to do is quotation marks. And then the criteria needs to be that the number is greater than zero. And then we would hit another quotation marks and then close parentheses. And then we'll just go ahead and hit enter. And that's going to give us the average number of all of our positive numbers there. So we found that it's 20.6. Because it's greater than zero, this is ex excluding zero. So that's good to know. So very easy to do. And we're just going to go ahead and do this again with the negative numbers. So we're going to hit equals average if hit tab again. So what is the range? Again, the range is the values that we want to look at. So we're going to hit control shift down arrow, click comma again, and then criteria. What is the criteria we're looking to average? So we're again just going to hit quotation marks less than zero, and then another quotation marks. And so that's all we have to do. You can go ahead if you want to mess around and do different things. You can do less than 10, less than 30, negative 30, and so on and so forth. And you'll be able to do that and look at just different criteria. And that's probably the best way to go about learning how to use it. But for this instance, we're just going to go ahead and finish off and do close parentheses. And so now we know that the average of all of our negative numbers is 35.2. Easy enough, we're able to quickly identify that data, find the average of those numbers within those different ranges. So this is especially helpful when you have large data ranges. You can, you can pull all that data very quickly and easily and save yourself some time. Let me know if you guys have any additional questions on, on this video. I'd love to, to answer any questions. And please remember to subscribe and like the Excel Guy videos. Thanks and I appreciate it.